So tonight it's dealer night and what we're going to do is we're going to put rope lights up against the back, the top edge of each shelf going across on each shelf like that. And so my job right now is to start clearing off these shelves. And this here is my before and I'm going to show you later on what I've done as my after. I'm going to change all of this out. And the table back there is going to be all changed out. show you what I did I moved this table and I just turned it the other direction and I put this screen behind here and I had all this stuff on the big table that's back here and I moved it here and I rearranged it and I added different things as well so these crates they make great shelves and then if you have anything like country looking, it, it really goes well in there. This bird is painted on leaves. It's either tobacco leaves or a banana leaf. I'm not really sure. I was told banana leaves, but when I did research, it always came up as tobacco leaf. And then this table, I have to try and find my footing here. Okay, back up. This is my focal point. So I added a, that chair. You don't really see it, but I have stuff on it to give it some height. And then I put the green lamps there to bring out the green in the chair. And then on this side of the screen, I moved the desk on this side, added those floral prints and the lamp. And then what we were working on was our hutch here, we put the rope lighting down, and then I color blocked, put all the greens together, the pinks together, the blues, and it just makes it um, easier f uh, to look at it. it. It doesn't look cluttered when you color block. So that's what we did. And uh, thank you for watching, and please like, comment, and subscribe. So long. Okay, so I wanna show you some more of my booth. I got this stand right now and I have some quilts on it and then behind here I have some doilies and different linens in this bin here and some sewing stuff and then on this hutch I have the desert rose it's a Franciscan desert rose pattern this is the same pattern that Jackie Kennedy used. I have some old photographs and postcards. People like to buy those. They're pretty cheap. Underneath I have some clear cut glass, some games. Then I have this old kitchen cabinet here. 
I like to keep my vintage kitchen stuff in here. On the top shelf here, I have some Fiesta Ware cups and saucers, a cookie jar, and another biscuit jar. This is the whole set over here of cream and sugar and then salt and pepper. An old canister set, a waffle dispenser. There's some more Franciscan ware. Not Franciscan, I'm sorry, Fiesta ware. And then in this drawer I have some some vintage utensils. And below I have some Tupperware, some vintage Tupperware. And these things are pretty cool. These are actually made for Hollywood studios and they used them in the movie studios to in their cafeteria. So who knows, maybe some celebrities ate on these. That was during the World War II era. And behind this door here, I have some magazines. There's a few comic strips. I have some paper dolls. Maps are back here. And those are maps of different things like nautical maps and then there's some of different uh, planets, different states. I have some Life magazines. I like to keep things like toys and stuff for little kids. Those are nice stained glass lamps. Now on this first shelf here I have some jadeite. And I already showed you this table, but I'll take you a little bit closer and look. There's some mid-century lamps. I had these in my living room, but I kind of changed out my living room a little bit, and so I brought the lamps in here. I put some old, these are old um, knobs, doorknobs from Pennsylvania. These are just little miscellaneous stuff. I have beads and different, just anything small I put in there and down there as well, some sewing things. I brought this chair in. I'm, I'm going to probably put that sign over at America's because I don't have a sign with my name on it over there. But, but here I put this basket of our, my tins in here. It's just a different way to display. I'll show you the chair. These plates, these are the Blue Ridge Pottery Plates. There's a, a first plate for a little kid. And down below I have a copper boiler. And I keep some flower pots all the way in the back. Here, I'll show you one from this side. I have some of the galvanized tins. Um, uh, what are they called? Uh, galvanized uh, pail, big, big pail buckets. Okay, and then this is an. This is for sale. This is a uh, washstand. Keep my mugs there. I have some old cookbooks. This little table here, my husband built it. It was my grandmother's sewing machine stand, and then he put a, ta a, a table on it, a top. It's kind of rustic looking. And it has some holes and stuff that was nails, nail holes in there. I have little miniatures in here, the little doll houses. And then my shelves. These are temporary shelves, but I have them loaded up right now. Oh, 
I have this old dollhouse and it has it comes with all the furniture it has the furniture and has the people in it, it has the baby in it and every room it, it comes with every room this is a complete set and I showed you this too but I have my depression pink glass here and I have my uranium I have a black light under there. All my amberware. Then I go into the milk glass. And then my ceramic cows. And this is all my blue and white down down here. And then in my locked case. I have a Fenton piece, which is a rare color. I have Jack glass back there, the decanters, some perfume bottles. I have some Yadros. That's a Coalport little figurine right there. More perfume bottles. I have airline memorabilia. A little bit of jewelry. There's an I Love Lucy watch back there. And down here I have a Heinz clock and some Disney. I have some World Fair. That's from the New York World Fair there. The uh, George and Martha Washington. And down below I have one of those uh, bird figurines, some Disney, those are, and I have really old books right here. Okay, here I have on my crates, and I showed you already this before, but this is the Franciscan ivy pattern, that's what Lucille Ball used in the I Love Lucy episodes. I have an old batter bowl and I like to keep stuff in it like like here's some pool balls. Some old tools, screwdrivers. Some quails. I have some really old books over here. If I already showed you that bird. I keep some mystery bags and mystery boxes in here. They are worth the uh, what's in them. Um, the prices are good. I have some that are five dollars, some ten to fifteen boxes. They are underpriced for the what you get. Also the surprise bags are ten dollars but there's like four or five things in them. They do come out to at least at least twenty dollars value. These are old artist books. I have learn how to draw. These are the those Walter Foster, Walter Foster books. Learn how to draw different things and they're all different. These are some crystal candle holders I have here. Those horse bookends are pretty neat. Those are litho prints. And then this beautiful rose stained glass lamp. And then right over here, I have this vintage cart. I restored it. That is for sale. I keep my Pyrex on here, some vintage kitchen as well. Some more canisters down there. I sell soap. This frost nipper has a little bit of a peppermint. And some lotions. And then I showed you this in a previous video of this little vignette.
And then I have a chandelier hanging over here. So that's my booth. I'll see you another time. Thanks for watching. Please watch, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Thank you. Bye bye.